So that's Weaver's Triangle in Burnley. Moored up here for the night. Very quiet actually. There was a big depot back in the day. Canopies there where they used to put the barges for unloading and loading. There's offices now inside. And there's plenty of mooring rings for mooring up here. It's a good spot. I've heard stories about not mooring in uh, Burnley and Blackburn etc etc but Burnley has been fine I think it's quite a nice town as well there we are well it's a dry day so far going to head off it's not as cold as it was yesterday which is good there's nothing in the news that's caught my attention this morning so I'm not going to whinge about anything uh, just get on with the day in the direction of Wigan well I've only gone 50 yards and it looks like somebody's thrown uh, their bed in the canal already Behind the modern industrial units is one of the old steeples that would have been for one of the mills. Let all the smoke out from the steam engines that used to power them back in the day. Old and new mixed together. People that live in this part of the world would take it all for granted, but it never ceases to amaze me all the old industrial mills and buildings on the canal. And there's yet another one with a big steeple. All built without modern power tools, too. Men shimmying about up bits of rope and ladders to build that. steeple that's no longer a steeple. I wonder if that's been taken down or whether it was like that originally. That's a tight old bend. That's a nice wooded glen right in the middle of Siberia. Primroses are out. So this is a aqueduct we're just about to go over. Basically a giant bathtub full of water. Calls that over the motorway. say that scaffolding is a bit safer than the scaffolding that he used back in the day when they built it originally. It's 
So we're about to go into Gano Tunnel. It's only 500 metres long this one. Average try time to travel through 10 minutes. So we'll see. No fin in the tunnel, completely empty. You can see the other end. Calcium deposits on the walls, making lots of different patterns. Boatyard out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Nice wooded glen. It's an old North Sea oil rig. Nice boat. Person's lifeboat. Fifty persons. It's a real optical illusion here. This looks like we're actually going uphill, which is ridiculous because obviously the water would be rushing down the other way if we were. Curious how that uh, it just makes you feel like we're going up the hill. We've all broken down Swing Bridge here, long since out of use. Liverpool Canal village called Church with these old coke kilns back in the day there were lots and lots of collieries in this area interesting structure 
in the shape, shape of a beehive and there are several of them Back in the day they'd have unloaded the coal here and brought it down to these kilns. So there's uh, 16, there's eight in a row and they're back to back. Would have been a hive of activity. There's some more over there. They're noisy things, aren't they? They make more noise than Accrington's down this football ground. Which is, we're moored just near Accrington. And I remember as a boy, way back when, listening to the football results coming in every Saturday afternoon. I think it was James Alexander Gordon who used to read them out. And, uh, Burnley nil, Accrington Stanley one. So, in the direction of Wigan, which is uh, where I'm desperate to get to to get off this canal. So, let's set off and see what the day brings. So, just going on to the aqueduct now solid stone parapets on this one I can't actually see over the top and then these planks that are laying here on the uh, side they use those to put across the canal so that they can empty it and maintain it there we are So the motorway is going under the canal here. Beautiful blossom on the tree there. It's a shame that can't last. It's lovely, isn't it? So we're just coming through Rishton now. There's some visitor moorings here where I moored up last year when we came up the canal. And my overriding memory of this is it was covered in um, duckweed, thick pea green soup duckweed. And all the litter that gets thrown in the canal is sort of stuck in duckweed. So it was all laying on the surface of the canal. It was really hard going. But uh, it's all gone, thank God. So it's making progress a lot faster going back the other way. There are little spots where you can just see it start to regrow back. Give that another four or five weeks and this will be covered again. There's a little spot just down there in that corner. It's just reforming. It's a nightmare. It's a shame they can't use it for something like animal feed or something because it grows so prolifically. I've noticed these birds build their nests where there's a load of debris. It's strange. Nice office chair there, it's probably been in the canal. Kids tricycle. And yet there's another Canadian goose on its um, on its nest. I've seen lots of those. Here's a patch of canal where it looks like the weed has um, started to get hold again. Lots of rubbish all around that. There are 
immediately we've got something around the propeller. You can tell straight away. section where the weeds just beginning to grow back here in Blackburn. Over in the distance there there's a mask. in building on the canal. That's what looks like a modern extension put on the side there.
so on the way down Blackburn flight a lot had to do them on the Jack Jones on that suitie cream crackered there's another two to do one immediately after this one and then the, there's a hundred yards or so before the next one I have to say I've seen some right rough necks around here drinking lager shouting so I ain't going to stop I'm moving on, find somewhere better for tonight. So we're on the long straight piece out of Blackburn now, on the embankment. That's uh, the football ground, Ewood Park I believe. 